again and welcome to Boarding Pass, your city guide to some of the best cities in the world. I am Parampara and I am going to take you across your favourite cities across the globe in some simple and important questions that you need to know. Hello from the capital of the Habsburg Empire the capital of the Austrian Empire and eventually the capital of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Today, I stand in the beautiful city of Vienna, the capital of Austria. Vienna is a beautiful city that has very beautifully blended the imperial ways of living with a contemporary lifestyle. Join me as I explore this beautiful city. Vienna is a fairly big city. It has a lot to offer in terms of experiences of architecture, food, music, art and culture. You need at least three full days to explore the city well. If you're spending more time, you're definitely not going to regret it. But if you have less time, don't forget to check out the Sean Bourne Palace. So, what's your favourite kind of weather? Rain, sun or let me guess? the winter because Vienna has all of it and all of it is pleasantly good. For example, the summers that go on from July to October are pleasantly hot and the peak season for people to visit Vienna. It's a good time to enjoy the attractions. However, I would totally opt for the winters when there are Christmas markets and it's a pleasant chilly season out here. It also rains in Vienna in about June and uh, it's not usually the time you'd opt for tourism, but overall it's a pleasant and nice weather all around the year. You know what defines the city's preparedness for its tourists? Of course, its transport system. And Vienna stands to the point. The city has a well-defined transport system with buses, trams, trains, metros, name it and it's all there to connect you everywhere around the city. The best thing is you can simply buy a Vienna transport pass which is valid for 24, 48 and 72 hours and gives you free access to all public transportation. Places in Vienna aren't very close by so it's always advisable to take the transport pass and go around the city. While in Vienna, I would definitely recommend the A1 Telephone Network. Their packages are affordable and they have some really good data plans. The other networks, just not worth it. There are pay phones too, but the best thing about being in Vienna is Vienna has a lot and I literally mean a lot of public Wi-Fi which will make your life very, very easy. You can stay connected to your social media and you can make internet calls through Skype or WhatsApp at absolutely no cost. So if you can keep your Wi-Fi on, you can actually figure a lot of public Wi-Fi or you can simply ask them for passwords. The currency in use in Austria is the Euro. All the transactions strictly happen in the Euro. So you have no hassles of exchanging cash over here. But if you're travelling here from Czech Republic or Hungary or Poland, you might find Austria a little expensive. Yet, it's well worth the quality and the standard of living that you get offered here. There are a lot of ATMs around the city, so again, that's not something that you should be worrying about. As far as the credit cards and the debit cards are concerned, most shops do accept these. So you could also make cash payments without thinking much. But it's always a good idea to ask them before you shop. Your visit to the Austrian capital promises to be enriching and happening. This place has so much to do. There's so much architecture, culture, food to explore that you're going to have a great time. To start with, check out the Schönbrunn Palace, which is the most visited monument all over Austria. Then, there's the Schönbrunn Zoo, 
the oldest zoo all over the world with some really cute and exciting pandas. Additionally, go visit the St. Stephen's Cathedral which is extremely beautiful and one of the oldest. Then, there's also the Ringstrauss, the Imperial Palace at Hofburg and you'll explore a lot more to do in Vienna like going to the museums, like uh, the Condom Museum, Sigmund Freud Museum, the Museum of Torture and so many more that you're going to explore once you check the guide. What would you like to eat in Vienna? Awesome! You have to try the traditional Viennese food which constitutes of the Wiener Schnitzel, a simple preparation of fried wheel. Then, you must try the apple strudel, a traditional Viennese puff pastry dessert. And you have to also try the hot dogs or mainly the sausages which are a staple street food in Vienna. The coffee house culture here is to die for. It's like a dream where you get to enjoy long hours of coffee without being interrupted. There's also a lot of global food culture that exists here but the Viennese food will win your heart. and you have all of them here especially because Vienna is a city that is obsessed with design so good clothes and Vienna oh that's a total combination the Christmas markets as you must know are also a major lookout but what I find the most interesting is Vienna actually has something called the shopping tour with Lucy which takes you around some of the best design shops all around the city so if you love shopping you have to check it out The Viennese are extremely polite and careful about their mannerisms thanks to their imperial history. The Viennese have a very strong taste and liking for art, culture, music and architecture and they enjoy it and preserve it the way it should be. So you'll see a lot of those while you visit here as the top attraction. As for some tips for travelling in Vienna, I would definitely recommend you to buy the Vienna City Pass which covers all the major attractions in Vienna for free. You can also include the Vienna City Card with the City Pass. The City Card, I must tell you, gives you free access to all public transportation in Vienna. You must note that the City Card can also be separately bought in which you can only use the transport system. However, buying the City Pass with the City Card is a more recommendable option. Other than that, Vienna is a fun city with a perfect mix of imperial and contemporary ways. So there's a lot to enjoy.